here I am in Alicante. Time now is 11.32 p.m. Thousands of miles away from home. Took me over 24 hours of travel just to get here. 14 hour total for flights, four hour lay layover. An extra five hour by train. And here I am. Contemplating about how I've got to the, this point of time. All the hard work for the past two, three months. Ever since I came back from the ankle injury back in February earlier this year. All the preparation, the speed training, strength conditioning sessions, the football sessions with my, my teammates. Really, really testing myself this off season, pushing each and every day to just try to be better, to get back to where I was before and to even go to another level. Really, really tough pre preseason, but here I am taking the next step in my career, a challenge for myself. And frankly speaking, I'm actually really nervous. I don't know what to think about it. It's a completely different environment, completely out of my comfort zone. Something that I've never experienced before. It's not my whole footballing career. You know, obviously starting out playing in Hong Kong where I, you know, had my earlier years of my career. And then, you know, going through the struggles and whatnot of growing and trying to compete at a higher level year in, year out, but always finding a way to get better and taking on the lessons that I've learned through the mistakes that I've made and really, really honing my craft each and every year. To be where I am right now is what I know that I truly deserve. I am where I am today. The opportunity I got is because I'm willing to put myself out there and take that risk in the first place. And for that, I'm very proud of myself. I'm looking forward to this new chapter. You know, taking on a whole different new culture, new life for the next six months in Alicante City FC. Really, really challenging myself and really pushing for the professional contract. And then after that, like I said before, said this before, I'll say it again. In two years time, I will be playing for the national team. That is the goal, that is the dream. And that is very much a re can be a reality. Taking these small steps, you know, taking this risk in the first place to fly across the, the world, to go to Spain, to play for a club at a relatively higher level than whatever I've experienced before. And that is something that I'm most looking forward to. Hey, Rory here from Edge of the Box Mentoring and I've been working with Myron now for around about two months, three months in preparation for his move over to Spain. Um, I'm really excited for him to go over there. He's a confident young man with bags of ability and loads of potential. I think that's going to be accelerated, his development over in Spain, playing in a, in a different culture, learning a new language and learning new uh, facets of his game over there. I hope that everything he learns he can then bring back and turn professional in Singapore. I know that's his ambition and I'm pretty sure that he's got the ability to be able to do that having worked with lots of players in Singapore so far. Good luck mate, really excited to follow your journey and yeah, I hope that the whole of Singapore gets behind you on this uh, hunt for new technique, new talent over in Spain for yourself. Take care mate. Hi, my name is Sheikh Paris. I'm one of my own friends. I met him through national service in the army. 
Knowing Myron, he's always been professional on and off the field. He's very clinical and technical. I'm really happy and proud to hear the news that he's making to play over in the Spain side. All the best to you, Myron, and I hope to see you in our national colours one day. Okay, so for the training sessions that we had, I think it was relatively of high quality as, as we push each other to our maximum capacity uh, instead of having just individual sessions where we just only can work on ourselves. Now we can work on each other's strengths and weaknesses as well as give each other a hard time during uh, our trainings together. As for the move from Singapore to Spain to test, uh, to test it out in another club, I think it was a relatively good move because we can see where it standard lies as well as try to make it in the lower divisions of Spanish football and then when he eventually comes back, you eventually come back to Singapore, you will be able to make it to a high level, hopefully you have gained some experience from Spain, make it to a high level, hopefully the SPL or SFL 1 in Singapore. Hey guys, Marcus here, this is Mine's older brother, pretty happy for him in taking that leap of faith by moving over to Spain and playing in the 6th tier under Alicante City FC. Knowing him since young, I would say that he embodies what Ronaldo is all about. That work ethic, that hard work and that never give up attitude. And I believe that these traits of him would elevate his game to the next level and being in that environment that allows him to excel, especially in Spain, where football is so technical and so minute to the detail that it would push him even more to be a more technical player which would value add to his current game as being such a hardworking player and I believe that Mario would really enjoy it a lot and with the passion that he has for the sport and the passion of always wanting to be better I believe that he will be able to elevate the game and who knows where his career will take him to next you know, so, Finally, it's time to go. Um, the time now is 4:38 p.m. 21st of August. Packed up all my stuff already. Yeah, time to head to the airport. So yeah, let's go. And after all this time, all the hard work, it's finally time for it to pay off. Oh, so, back in 20, the end of the 2017-18 season with Swiss. It was almost my last hope or any sort of last ditch attempt at making a career out of football. You know, going through a whole season, coming off the back of arguably my best season in youth football with my school, with my club. And then all the way to taking that risk. It's all about taking that risk. Going over to Maccabi, dropping to a Division Two team and <clears throat> betting on myself really taking that risk and giving myself an opportunity, a fresh start to having my best season 2018-19 with Maccabi top goal scorer of the team, 14 goals, 6 assists in 22 games to this date still my best stat line for a club at any level um, but yeah as I embark on this journey you know Everything leading up to it, you know, obviously playing Sunday League with Fury Reds, the training sessions with Ace, with Ibrahim, with my brother. All these sort of things, these small moments of time, working at part time, you know, every day putting in the work, working with Edge of the uh, Rory Winters, Coach Rory Winters from Edge of the Box, really, really making a big difference in my progression throughout the summer. You know, Every single day putting in the work, this is the most amount of work that I put in. The same sort of commitment every single day, week in, week out, for the past two to three months. For the past two to three months, from June, May, June, July, August, all the way until where I am right now. And here I am at the airport, you know, contemplating about what has happened, you know, after having such a fantastic season to go on to tear my ACL and meniscus 
putting me out for the next two years and obviously with you know the pandemic around the world everything just the odds were really against me and I had to fight for it every single day you know the struggle that I went through the mental torture of not being able to disassociate myself you know from football it was such a huge part of my identity and I struggled throughout my rehab after a seven hour flight I only arrived in Abu Dhabi airport so the time now is 11 minutes past midnight in Abu Dhabi it's 4 11 a.m. in Singapore right now uh, yeah I got three hours got three hours before my next flight so I'm just chilling right now I don't even know where my gate is at right now I have to wait until 1.45 so another hour and 30 minutes to go before I even know which gate I'm supposed to be at can't wait to just be over in Spain to be honest the travel is in total I think 7 hours for both flights each it's about a four hour layover and whatnot and an extra five hours by train still got a bit to go before i reach alicante i'll reach the i'll reach the train station at 5 30. i really really struggled with that and to go from that to coming back and then finally when things started to open up with the pandemic getting better and you know clearing things up in april 2022 Again, having no contacts in, in Singapore, not knowing anyone and just emailing clubs around, the, around Singapore and just taking that risk again, you know, trying to find an opportunity for myself from scratch, from absolutely nothing. And to see how far I've come from that. Finally arrived in Barcelona. The time now is 8.38 a.m. Arrived at about an hour ago. Went through immigrations, everything. Everything went really smoothly. Got my bag already. As you can see. And now I got a train ride to Alicante at 12 p.m. So I still got a bit of way to go. Probably gonna find a spot, gonna do some video editing for this documentary and whatnot. Just a bit of a breather. And I then have a what five hour, five and a half hour ride. I'll reach Alicante at 5 30 pm and then we'll see what happens from there. So, yeah, you know, going to Project Vault, the team that I trout for just this summer, you know, knowing that I could have signed for them, I was good enough to sign, but at that time, I wasn't good enough. I come off such a major injury, and you know, it was tough, it was really, really tough. Right now I'm just outside New Camp. It's right behind me actually. Right there. Constructions and whatnot. But yeah, pretty pretty cool. They're just tearing the whole stadium down really. Yeah, I was in the area so I just figured I might as well just go and check it out. But yeah, tearing down the stadium and whatnot. So not much to look at really. If only I've been here six months ago or something. Probably would have been able to see it, but you know, we move. After this, I'm probably gonna head over to this train station. Train is in about an hour and a half, so I thought I'd just take some time. It was on the way, anyways, just for some time and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm gonna check it out and probably head off to the train station. So, yeah, let's go. Coming off such a major injury to put me out for two years. To obviously getting my first major injury coming back, traveling for body vaults, to be out for one month, coming back to tr to you know try to earn a spot, even though it was already mid season for them, and just didn't pan out. They weren't interested in me, but kept my head up and they put us to go and train with at the time I didn't know but I was still in my 
went over there, joined their training session, had a good session, played for them during the game, and impressed. But the coach wasn't asking us to stay, and we went on separate ways. And that was supposed to be it. That was supposed to be it. But. Quick little update about three hours left in the train ride. Pretty much just been editing the, the vlog, the documentary and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, views not too bad actually. Uh, trying to insert some clips in there. But yeah, I really, at this point, I'm just tired. I've been traveling for over a day now. By the time that I reach Alicante, I would have traveled over 24 hours and over thousands and thousands of miles. So yeah. Just can't wait to get to the club, get to meet the people, you know, the staff, my new teammates, and then get to work. Next part will be when I'm in Alicante already. So yeah, let's go. I persisted and I asked the question, why not? Why not go and take that risk again? Why not go and try? So I went back and asked my head coach, whether or not we could try and train for the team, why not try and play for the team. So we went for, you know, a relatively long trial, three to four friendly matches, a load of training sessions, and before you know it, I was a starting right winger. And that was my way back into the game. I found that way, I took that risk. Of course, I wanted to play as a left winger, my, my preferred position. But I did it for the team. I did it for what the coach needed from me. And I continued to put in the work. And yet, during the season, I still got injured. You know, during a friendly game of all things. But, kept my head up, kept putting in the work, got back. And every single time I stepped on that field, stepped on that field. I knew for a fact that I was making a difference, I was making an impact. Because I always, always went to go and take that risk. I wasn't playing safe. And that is why doing what I'm doing right now with Alicante City FC is the right step for my career moving forward. And I know for a fact that this will be the reason, this will be the environment that will help in the long run. This opportunity will pay off and I will sign a pro contract this time next year. So yeah, let's see how this adventure goes then. Let's go.